Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard Time for Kaiser against the KMT. Let us continue on for last set off. So, we're now at war with the uh, Rex Packs, we're at war with the Entente, and good. They, they deserve to have the war declared upon them because they are being jerks. And by that I mean they're not giving up my concessions. I'm going to throw five more factories into infantry equipment for right now. Trains and stuff are looking good. We can actually switch probably down to five. Let's, let's put ten more into aircraft. We want, I need more planes. We're, we are getting our navy together. We have 38 ships. Germany's age has collapsed. Oh, they collapsed and gave me the territory? Oh, you're, you're beautiful. Thank you. My question, though. Um, do we have an admiral? Hey, we actually do somehow. Okay, there we go. So we can't move here. So we're going to move these troops over here. We're going to move you over here as well. But we've killed Germany's Asia. What a, what a fantastic way to begin this episode. We can now push away into the Dutch East Indies. And you're still controlled by the Japanese. And we can't invade Japan until June because we have a truce from the last war. But as soon as that truce is over... Oh, the, like the invasion's happening immediately. Okay, I need you guys to come over here a little bit faster. And also, um, we don't have actual... No, 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 no. I need to research naval invasion. That's like one of the things that have... 129 days? God damn. American advisors? Since you're both comments in arms against the same foe, the Union of Social American States have offered some military advisors. Yeah. Welcome. I'm not going to say no to that. Okay, these troops are going to have you push your way down like this. And again, we are going to be going to war in Insulindia afterwards, once we're actually at war with the uh, Japanese. How many planes are we even storage right now? A couple hundred. Looks good. It does say naval bombers, but they are close air support slash naval bombers. They do do both things. We need you to deploy. We need you to begin your offensive into India. You know what? Actually, don't spread it out that far. We'll see in these two provinces. We don't care about this area too much. Burma. I would actually much prefer to, like, uh, invade you as well. Can I just fight war goal against you? I could, but it'll take 135 days. It's a little bit too long. But we'll get more stability off of this. Combat casualties is at negative 55%. Okay, I do, need to, I do need to fix that somewhat. Um, But I can't do any of the propaganda stuff here, so we're not going to worry about it right now. How many troops do they actually have here? Not many, but they do have, like, insane defense. Pacify the opposition. Treasure your memory. We can try to lose... We gain a little bit more stability off of this. Do we have any actual naval upgrades? I have not even, like, looked over here in a while. Restore the Ministry of Navy. Fuel consumption minus 25%. That actually is kind of incredible. Oh, you actually just give me a bunch of technology here. That actually would be quite nice, but I, yeah, I kind of have to do it. But at the, at the same time, I've gone pretty far down the... Uh... Okay, apparently you guys actually are not going to do anything. India's got too many troops around here, which is a pain in the ass. How many troops does India have? 73 to 242. Okay, so they have like a shit ton of units. Okay, cool. That does put us in a very awkward situation, for sure. Let's seize control of these areas. See if you can capture your ports here. Make sure the Dutch don't have any uh, supplies at all. I mean, if Germany is willing just to leave Asia, I'm kind of okay with that. I don't think we need to go to war with Germany directly. And, I mean, the war in Europe. How many people have died in the Second World War as of right now? I mean, actually, they've mostly lost troops against us. Well, okay, this is not including us, uh, Russian troops as well. Um, I think this is everybody. 
So we're looking at about 29 million, 20, 30 million casualties, which is pretty substantial. Okay, let's see if we can take this port. Legation cities are now cored by us. And I consider that to be a success. Do we still have troops stationed in um, Singapore? Yeah, we still have 11 troops down there. And very, very soon, we will... Um, we will be have, we'll go to war with the Japanese, allow us to attack insulindia. India. I do need to try to take over all of Indonesia. The Philippines are kind of like a different question entirely. How do we how do we deal with the Indians, man? Because this is, I'm assuming, yeah, this is all core territory. Which does make it a mess to deal with. Yeah, there's some Japanese troops here, but they actually don't have any uh, ports in this area, so that doesn't actually matter for the grander war effort. Yes, let's do some more war propaganda. 47% is not very good. And we are taking more combat casualties by the day. No reconstruction without peace is a negative 20 on... Uh... So how, do I get, how do I get rid of that? Promise an end to party t uh, factionalism. War support goes by 10%. That would be quite nice because I, I do need it. War stability modifier. I mean, we've got a lot of good stuff here. Chairman's will... Honestly, it's actually not that good. Yeah, let's go basic torpedo. Our submarines do have torpedoes, right? Like, that's not something that we're uh, somehow missing. Field Creek Cruiser. Improved submarine. Improved heavy hull. So you need a battery here. Heavy battery. Let's throw in anti-aircraft guns. Level 2. Anti-aircraft gun level 2. Um, secondary? Okay, actually, we can't afford this anyways. So let's remove you. 15. And we'll just start building this up now. So this heavy hull is going to be done in April of next year. So you know what? Cancel that. Use it on our own. That's going to be done in April of 45. That's okay. It's kind of okay. I don't really have much of a choice in whether or not it's okay. Let's capture this last province of the Dutch East Indies. This won't be too difficult to push our way through. But Borneo is definitely going to fall pretty goddamn quickly. So I'm happy to report that. We're getting 1.07, which honestly is like not that good. We're also going to lose 65 political power off of you. But totalism is going to basically not exist anymore. And that's got to be a good thing for us. Which now allows us to go down to technocratic administration. Political power gain goes up. Well, actually, you know, that's just if we get the advisor. What we actually get is political power goes down. And we get more efficient growth and more factory output for a year, which is okay. But honestly, not incredible. Okay, so you're going to try to attack into us. How many factories do you have, India? 82 military. I mean, we do have way more than they do. We actually... I mean, how many, we have so many factories on aircraft. So our aircraft production should start exploding soon. Giving me the air force that we need. Let's compare ourselves to Germany, for example. They only have eight factories on vehicles, really? I'm a little surprised by that. Oh, we can declare war now. Oh, our truce is over. It's, it's June. It's July. Call all of our allies into the war against Japan, please. Let's immediately seize these ports. Seize those from the Japanese. Green Army, you need to be pushing it immediately. Insulindia will be going to war in just a moment. Okay, so you prepare a liberation war against you. Happy to report that. And Insulindia will be at war in just a moment. I don't know where these guys are actually going right now. Oh, we ended our hostilities immediately. Wait, why did Russia take over Vladivostok? What, a, what the fuck? 
Did the event did the event break? It must have broken. Okay then. Well I need to fix that, please. Control S, control S, control S. Transfer ownership, please. Yeah, these aren't Russian territories, but. Why are they actually in Russian hold held areas? I actually don't know about that. Anyways. I'm not too sure what happened there, to be quite honest with you. It just said they ended... Is it because we've already beaten them one time before? So now the game's, like, confused? I'm not... I'm not too sure, to be quite honest with you. Is it going to force piece us out again? No, it doesn't look like it a second time. I just, I just don't know what was going on there. It has to be, it had to do with something being broken because, um... Did Japan claim war on Burma? Oh no, they're claiming war on my puppet states. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, it must have, it has something to do with the fact that we've already beaten them once before and the game gets very confused by that. That's my best guess, because nothing else there really makes sense for us. But that's okay. We, we, we fixed the issue. So Insulindia should collapse pretty god dang soon. And when does Naval Invasion Attack become... Oh, wait. Fuck, we're not researching anything. Ah! Okay. Give me... What, what technologies can we get that are basically not free... Battleship attack goes up, firefighting drills goes up, all of those sound good for us. Yeah, redeploy back into the Far Eastern Union, please and thank you. To Kaelin, we'll give it to the Far Eastern Union, of course. Do you have a port here? You do, I would like to take that port from you, if at all possible. And, um, Insul India, are you capitulated or not? No, that's 78%. They're not actually close to being capitulated at all. I don't know where this fleet came from. Okay. Is it the fleet that we captured from Singapore? Is that, a, is that a thing that could happen? But we'll get the lessons of war now. Yeah, we'll crush the Japanese as they're uh, located here. All of that is looking, I would say, pretty goddamn good. Thing is, India has a stupid, stupid amount of troops. They're pushing away into uh, Tibet a little bit, but like not by like India. India's got too many units. They are going to be a. We're gonna have to basically navally invade them in many different directions. That's that's the only way I see this actually working in our favor. And I will say, like the European theater is basically at a complete standstill. Like nothing is happening over there. Okay, so we can get rid of these units here. Excellent. And naval invasion will be done in 40 days. We have 40 days to spare. The thing is, like, how much manpower does India have? I'm, sh I'm sure it's in the 8 million. Yeah, like, India is never going to run out of troops. So the only thing we can do is, like, navally invade here, navally invade here, navally invade here, navally invade here, and just get the AI to split their army up into so many different sections. That it basically becomes impossible for them to do anything useful. And once this is done, we'll probably send these armies over to uh, over to Burma as well. Because that, that does need to be resolved. Okay, Borneo is now fallen. It's now controlled by us. Excellent. Great, great news. And we are at I am, right? Yes, okay. Just Just checking, just making sure. The thing is, I mean, actually, they don't have that many naval units. I wonder if we can maybe invade Japan. Like, if we get very, very lucky one time, and maybe the Japanese Navy, like, they're too spread thin, or or something like that, we can maybe, like, sneak our way in. And what do you need? You need... Promise to end departing nationalism, chairman's will. So you need this stuff here as well. Okay. Well, I mean, we might as well get our way down that tree now. 
Like, I'm not worried about the Entente. The Entente are a bunch of babies. They'll, they'll get killed off soon enough. How many troops do the Philippines have? 2 to 14. A naval invasion of them might make some sense. Draw a fallback line here. And again, I'm not worried about naval invasions. Like, in any capacity whatsoever. Yes, yeah, you're located here. Marine army's ready to go for a push here. How can you not take this province? Lower Yangtze has some bombers in it. Let's deploy our new air force, which we have actually a lot of planes ready to go. Thousand aircraft is not very good. They're trying to land in Korea, which I mean, I'm not too surprised by. But again, the Japanese landing troops in our territory actually makes my life easier. And actually, Brown Army, you can start making your way down to Korea. What do we need now? Give me more uh, tanks, please. You're going to get wiped under the second. We have troops that have landed in uh, near Pyongyang. Oh, wait. No, this is, this is not what I wanted. Whoops, 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 whoops. Nope. I need you to be a different color. Otherwise, I will get mistaken. Okay. Keep you as purple. You stay here. And these are not real. These are These are not real orders from you. Ignore this, ignore this. You guys, I need to strategically redeploy down here as quickly as possible. Yeah, that all looks good to me. That all looks good to me. Because you'll get pushed out. Japan's sending more and more units here, but it's like it's not going to actually succeed for them. But I think now with a new... They have taken Pyongyang, which does give them a port, but it's, it's we beat them once, we can beat them again. But I think that at least for right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not doing close some down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.